Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I'll explain electric dipole and dipole movement. To understand electric field due to electric dipole, you need to understand parameters of electric dipole. So in this video, I'll explain the meaning of electric dipole as well as I'll explain calculation of dipole movement for given electric dipole. So let us begin this session with first agenda that is basics of electric dipole. So when you talk about electric dipole, then you should know electric dipole is a pair of charges with same magnitude and opposite polarity. So if you observe here, we have two charges. One charge is having value plus Q and second charge is having value minus Q. So here we have two charges with same magnitude and opposite polarity and that is separated by distance 2A. See in standard notations, you will be observing spacing between two charges is given by distance 2a. So this is electric dipole that is having two charges with same magnitude and opposite polarity. Now I'll explain you dipole movement of electric dipole. See dipole movement is a product of charge and spacing between two charges. So here you can observe we have electric dipole where magnitude of charge that is Q and spacing between these two charge that is twice A. So electric dipole movement that is a product of charge that is Q and spacing between two charges that is twice A over here. And one should know the direction of electric dipole movement. See dipole movement that is having direction from negative charge to positive charge. So here you can observe direction of electric dipole movement that is happening in the direction of negative to positive charge means it is there in this direction. So now what I'll do is I'll be using this calculation in future coming videos where I'll explain you how to identify electric field due to electric dipole. So one should know electric dipole that is a pair of two charges magnitude of charge that is equal with both of the charges and polarity wise one charge will be positive and second charge will be negative and here we will be using standard notations in which spacing between two charges that we will be considering as a twice a and direction of electric dipole movement that happens from minus q to plus q charge so these are the basics that you should take care of when you derive electric field i hope you have understood this Still, if anything that you'd like to share, just note it down in the comment section. I'll be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.